In the town of Ostrovany in eastern Slovakia, children scramble over a brightly painted wall to retrieve a lost ball. But for residents of this Romani neighbourhood, the wall is more than just an inconvenience for children at play. In my opinion, this wall is here to separate the Roma from the majority. We don't agree with this. We're fighting against discrimination and racism. We don't agree with Roma kids being separated from the majority kids. We want the wall to be taken down. The town's mayor backed the campaign to build the wall with public funds in 2009. The stated goal was to stop Roma from stealing from their neighbours. They built it to prevent our people from taking their cucumbers and apples. They built the wall so that we can't see what they have in their gardens. Roma make up about 8% of Slovakia's population. In communities like this one, poverty is severe, life expectancy is well below average and unemployment tops 80% and a sense of separateness begins at an early age. In your class, do you have white kids as well? No, just Roma kids. The white kids are upstairs. We are downstairs. Why? Because they don't want to be together with us. Slovakia passed a broad anti-discrimination law in 2004, but de facto segregation has persisted in many schools. In a statement provided to RFERL, Slovakia's deputy education minister, Juraj Draxler, said officials are working to eliminate regressive practices. The Slovak Ministry of Education, Science, Research and Sports respects all international agreements by which it is bound and does not pursue and is strictly against policies that would lead to segregation in schools. In a landmark desegregation case, the non-governmental Centre for Civil and Human Rights successfully sued the school these children attend in nearby Sharishske Michalani. The court's ruling in 2013 forced the school to gradually begin integrating classes. But resistance remains. Head teachers and teachers uh, think that uh, Roma children uh, need some special approach and special help. And that's, that's why they, they need to be educated separately, in separate classes. I believe that a lot of schools also feel pressure from, from the non-Roma parents, who just don't want their children to be together with Roma children, and they think that uh, the children won't be able to get a good education. So, uh, yeah, that, that makes the, the, the segregation very complicated and difficult. East of Ostrovani, the town of Michalovce also suffers from stark social divisions. The majority of the town's Roma live in a rundown area known as Angimlin. Most adults get by on minimal social benefits, not always by choice. Of course I'd rather go to work, but where? Who would hire me? Nobody hires Roma. It doesn't happen. Young children attend an all-Romani elementary school in their neighbourhood, while older kids go to a mixed high school nearby. Families living in Angimlin describe the conditions there. Everything is separated. One building is for the white kids and the other one is over there. And the white kids go to the cafeteria with the teacher and we go separately by ourselves. In Michalovce, national law and the efforts of NGOs have yet to eliminate decades of institutionalized segregation. But some Slovak schools provide a positive model for social inclusion. In the town of Hrabushice, Romani and white families live in the same neighborhoods and their children attend classes together. Teachers say racial tensions are rare. As the school year began in September, Rabushitsa celebrated the opening of a new preschool built with EU support. I'm happy that Roma kids can be together with kids from non-Roma families, even in preschool, because this is perhaps the best way to integrate Roma in Slovakia. Peter Polak, Slovakia's first Romani lawmaker, says starting with young children is central to a more inclusive future. The key for solving Roma problems in Slovakia and Europe is to start with very small kids so that they're prepared to start elementary school. If they're prepared, they'll get enough knowledge and qualifications. If they get qualifications, they can find work. And if they get jobs, we will not be in the situation of solving Roma problems anymore because these Roma will take care of their own problems.
It may take years before these goals are realised, but it's hoped that lessons learned from the experience of such schools can be a strong force for ending the segregation of Roma in Slovakia.